Hello everybody and welcome back to the Audi A6 Wide Body Project by Stealth Built and Kimmel Fabrication Studio. I'm Sam Kimmel and we're going to be working on the spoiler mounts in this video. So please enjoy. If you don't follow, please click that subscribe button so you can follow along with the rest of the build. We built this 2x4 framework so that we could hold the spoiler in a fixed position and test a few different mount designs. So we did one that was a chassis mount and one that was a trunk mount so we could stand back and kind of look at both of them and decide which one we like better. So as you guys can see, I have a laser level, uh, which also can show plumb, which is the vertical. Um, but if you don't have that, there's also a simple way. You can use a plumb bob, or if you don't have a plumb bob, you can make your own uh, with just some kind of a weight and a piece of string. So here you can see I got a piece of string, a couple of nuts attached to the bottom of it for weight. And we can do the exact same thing to get that vertical line and have it stay plumb with the car just by using something as simple as uh, you know, a nut and a string or some washers, anything heavy really tied to the bottom of the string will still give you that same vertical line. So, you know, if you don't have something like this expensive, you know, laser machine, that's okay. There's still a cheap and easy way to do this. Roger and I use a laser level so that we can get a line up the back of the car and kind of get an idea of where we would want to put a chassis mount. A big sheet of cardboard comes in pretty handy when you're making templates, and since we're going to just make this and stand back and look at it, we decided cardboard was definitely the best idea. We don't want to make this out of aluminum or anything important, since we don't know for sure if we want to use it or not. We use this profile gauge now, and as you can see, it has the shape of the bumper, so here's where it sticks out there, right above where the diffuser area is, which would be in here and that's that little edge that sticks out. So we'll line it up, measure this distance here to here, how thick we want it, and then we can just adjust this and draw a line, and that'll give us the shape of the bumper cutout. Obviously a chassis mount doesn't mount to the bumper, but since we want the illusion of the mount going through the bumper, we went ahead and took a template of that and cut that shape out so that we can make a false mount, and that way we could stand back and look at it in real life like it were really mounted to the chassis through the bumper. I really enjoy doing this kind of work because you don't have to spend any money and you can kind of test a bunch of different ideas and you can really come up with something that you like, you know, and it, it beats just going out and buying something off the shelf. We finished up the chassis mount sample and then we moved on to the other side which we decided we were going to go ahead and do the trunk mount um, in like a gooseneck style. And I know at some point we did record that but I cannot find the footage for the walk around with both the uh, gooseneck style spoiler mount and the chassis mount style spoiler. Just like a lot of the other parts on the car, we did take a poll on TikTok and on Instagram and a lot of people really liked the trunk mount. There were quite a few people who also liked the chassis mount, but the trunk mount one really flowed a lot better. And I think the overall uh, look of it with the rest of the body really looked a lot better, which is surprising to me because I originally thought that the chassis mount was gonna be the way to go. Here's an image of the spoiler mocked up behind the car with our trunk mounts. And here is the CAD drawings that we had done for what the actual mount is gonna look like. Now, I wanted to make sure that it actually fit, so I took it to my big printer and print it off and wouldn't you know it i run out of paper when i just started printing so i had to change all that out and uh, what we ended up doing is printing this off and then adhering it to a piece of cardboard so that i could cut that out and make sure everything fit properly um, since you know we're going from a digital to a physical design i wanted to make sure it actually fit the way that i wanted it to fit to the car and to the spoiler before i send it off to have that part machined out of aluminum so a little bit of spray adhesive and some cutting with a razor knife and next thing you know we have a part that we can test fit on the car. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be releasing uh, more videos as we go here so stay tuned. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and shoot me a like or a comment if you have one. If you have any questions also leave those below. I try to answer all of them. 
I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.